Top 5 USA Female Robots 2022 This is shocking. Are you ready to be blown away by these top female robots? They are going to revolutionize the entire robot industry. They are not only efficient but also very attractive. You will be amazed by the efficiency of these robots. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be listing down top 5 USA female robots. So make sure you stay with us till the end of this video. A robot with a body modeled after a human is said to be a humanoid. The concept could be for research objectives, like researching bipedal walking, or it could be for practical goals, such as interacting with human equipment and environment. Humanoid robots typically have a chest, a head, two arms and two legs, while others just simulate certain parts of the body, like the waist up. Real features, such as eyes and lips, have been incorporated into the heads of some humanoid robots. Humanoid robots created to resemble humans are called androids. In a number of fields, humanoid robots are now employed as testing tools. Researchers explore human body properties and function to develop humanoid robots biomechanics. On the other side, an increased comprehension of the human body results from attempts to duplicate it. The study of how people learn from sensory input to develop their perceptual and motor abilities is called human cognition. Statistical models of human behavior are developed using this data, and they have improved over time. It has been suggested that improved humans could be created using advanced robotics. Information has been shared between the two fields, even though the primary aim of humanoid science was to create better orthoses and prosthesis for humans. Examples include driven leg prosthesis for patients with neuromuscular disabilities, ankle foot orthoses, physiologically realistic leg prosthesis, and forearm prosthesis. Humanoid robots, particularly ones with AI algorithms, may be helpful for risky and or distant space exploration missions, removing a need to turn around and come back to Earth once mission is finished. The most sophisticated humanoid robots have already been created by a number of firms, including Sophia, Erika, Junko Chihiro, and Nadine. Destiny, a new player on the market, claims to get the closest relationships with people and to assist them in their daily activities. Nadine Professor Nadia Magnanat Thalman served as an inspiration for Nadine, a female humanistic social robot. The robot clearly resembles a human being because of its realistic-looking face and hair, as well as its useful paws. Robot Nadine welcomes you, maintains eye contact, and keeps track of all your discussions. She is socially intelligent. It can respond to queries independently in a number of languages and replicate emotions via facial expressions and body language depending on the context of the contact with the user. Nadine can move her upper body and convey her facial expressions with a maximum of 27 degrees of autonomy. It remembers specifics and occurrences about any of the previous persons it has encountered. To assist those with special needs, it can read stories, show videos, host Skype calls, send emails, and establish connections with other family members. It may be dedicated to acting as a personal coach or may operate as a receptionist in an office. She has a webcam, a microphone, and a 3D depth camera to gather visual and auditory data. Nadine has interacted with people of all walks of society and taken part in live demonstrations on stage. Nadine, one of the most lifelike humanoid robots in the world, made her debut in front of the public as a major highlight of the exhibition Human Plus, the future of our species, at Singapore's Art Science Museum. She has dealt with numerous employees from large corporations in a variety of sectors, including Dentsu Aegis Network, DAN, Credit Suisse, and Deutsche Bank. Sophia Sophia is a social humanoid that was made by Hong Kong-based Hansen Robotics. Sophia made her first public appearance at the South by Southwest Festival in Austin, Texas in mid-March 2016. After being activated on February 14, 2016, Sophia has been interviewed by prominent people and has received international media attention. Sophia became the first robot in history to become a citizen of Saudi Arabia in October 2017. In November 2017, Sophia became the first non-human to hold any UN title when she was named the first ever innovation champion of the United Nations Development Program. Sophia has cameras and computer algorithms in her eyes that allow her to see. She can make eye contact, remember faces, and keep track of individuals. She has a human language subsystem that processes speech and facilitates dialogue. In January 2018, Sophia received functional legs and the capacity to walk. 
In interviews, Sophia has interacted with hosts in the same way as a human would. Some responses have been illogical, while others have impressed interviewers like Charlie Rose of 60 Minutes. Even if Sophia's responses were not completely horrible, Jim Edwards, the chief UK editor of Business Insider, anticipated that Sophia was a step toward conversational artificial intelligence. Actroid Sit A sort of humanoid developed by Osaka University and produced by Kokoro Company Limited is called an Actroid. It clearly looks like a human being, the animatronics division of Sanrio. It was initially displayed at the 2003 Tokyo International Robot Exhibition. Since then, other variants of the item have been made available. The appearance of the robot is typically based on an average young Japanese woman. The Actroid Woman is a groundbreaking illustration of a real-world computer that is identical to the mythical machines known as Android or Gynoid in science fiction, terms that were previously only used to describe robots. It may mimic a variety of lifelike processes, including blinking, speaking, and breathing. The replies models are conversational robots that can comprehend speech, process it, and respond accordingly. The more modern name, Actroid DER2, recently visited several US cities. The English-speaking robot was presented at NextFest 2006, while standing up and wearing a black plastic bodysuit. It also spoke. Around the same time, a variant, Actroid DER2, was also exhibited in Japan. Compared to its predecessor, this humanoid gadget has more lifelike characteristics and motions. Chia 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 is a humanoid robot that was developed by a team from China's University of Science and Technology. Chia Chia is considered to be China's humanoid robot. Her ability to interact with others and respond correctly enhances her attraction. Chia Chia makes up for her unnatural speech patterns with startlingly human-like eye movements and lip-to-speech coordination. She calls her creators, my lord. However, this could just be a hallmark of Chinese culture. Chia Chia's expressions are so lifelike that extra attention was given to the development of her eyes in order for her to be able to detect different movements, emotions, activities, and so forth, and respond correctly. Additionally, she features facial recognition technology that enables her to keep track of numerous individuals in a room and speech creation algorithms that let her go to communicate with humans. Chia Chia was particularly adept at seeing when photographers were capturing unflattering images of her, and she would instruct them to avoid making her face look chubby for the camera. Chia Chia's creators anticipate that as time passes, her interactions will grow less robotic and more genuine. Destiny Age-friendly humanoid robot Destiny is now under development and will advance robotics and AI to entirely new heights. The designers of Destiny promise to produce advanced robots that can communicate with people considerably more deeply than is currently achievable. It aims to give AI the ability to become more generic as well as do some specific tasks. The goal of robot developers Destiny Robotics is to make robots available to a growing number of people at the same time. AI, robotics, engineering, art, and design come together in a new way in Destiny. She stands out from other robots because of her human-like skin, communication skills, and capacity for emotion expression. It establishes a norm for robot-human contact. The very first humanoid robot aid for homes will be called Destiny. Here is the end of this video. Do you think this is just technology or something else? The majority of times, robots work for people and connect with them sympathetically. But occasionally, they are hostile toward people and have a goal of subjugating, enslaving, or eradicating the human species. Generally speaking, we think that humans will govern machines and use them for good, which will further our ability to advance. However, other individuals believe that machines could replace humans, take our jobs, and make us less competitive. We must therefore start thinking about social, ethical, and legal challenges, as well as the role that robots will play in our lives. That brings us to the end of today's video. Which one do you like the most? Let us know in the comments down below.